Hello, Grade 12s. Welcome to Agricultural Sciences. My name is Mr. Madrose, and I will be taking you through production factors. We know that we've got four production factors in Grade 12, that is land, labor, capital, and management. But for today, we shall look at capital, and more specifically, financial records. Now, there are only six financial records that you will need to know for Grade 12. We shall first start with the purpose of keeping financial records. Now, you keep financial records as a farmer for loan application, loan application to manage the capital of the farm, to plan the future of the business, and when you want to compare past and current performance of the farming enterprise or the business. Now, those are the purposes of keeping financial records. Now, we have examples of financial statements that you need to be able to identify in an exam and also be able to define. We have one, the cash analysis book. This is a financial statement that is used to keep the receipts of all transactions. A cash analysis book is used to keep the receipts of all transactions. We also have an inventory. An inventory is used to record all assets in the farming enterprise, just the assets. So where you record the assets of the business, that is the inventory. Number three, we've got a budget. Now this one is a bit tricky, but very easy to memorize. A budget is the expected income and expenditure over a period of time. In other words, a budget is a plan of how you expect to earn and how you expect to spend in the future of the business. So the key word here is future and it is also a plan. We have different types of budgets. We have what we call a whole farm budget. A whole farm budget includes all farm operations or enterprises. So this is a budget for all the enterprises in the farm. And we also have what we call an enterprise budget, which focuses only on one enterprise in the farm. When a budget focuses on the whole farm or on the different enterprises in the farm, let's say for instance, this is a farm that specializes in beef and milk production. A budget that focuses on both of those enterprises within the farm. Milk and beef production, that is a whole farm budget. But if the budget focuses only on one enterprise, let's say you are only focusing on beef production, a budget for that enterprise will be called an enterprise budget because it focuses on one enterprise. So when you get a budget in your exam, you have to check whether are there two enterprises or there is only one. If there are two enterprises, that will tell you that this is a whole farm budget, two or more enterprises. But if it only includes one, then that is an enterprise budget. But that also depends on how diverse the farm is. Now, we also have an income statement. An income statement is a summary of all income and expenditure. So just note that this is not a plan or an expected income and expenditure, but it is a summary of all current income and expenditure. Now, we can use an income statement to calculate the net profit, or sometimes the examiner can ask you to calculate the net returns. Now, when you calculate the net profit, you say income minus expenses. 
That is how you use an income statement to calculate the profit or the returns in the farm. We also have a cash flow statement. A cash flow statement includes two things. In fact, it is a summary of the movement of cash within the business. Remember, we have the term flow. Flow means to move. Now, when you think of a cash flow statement, think of movement of cash within the business. There is an inflow of cash and an outflow of cash. Now, how do you see a cash flow statement? There are two things which are written in bold there. It's the opening balance and the closing balance. Just like on the side here. If you look at the statement here, you will see that there is closing balance and there is opening balance. In your examination, when you just see those two things, then you know that this is a cash flow statement. It is indicating the flow of cash in the month of April, May, June. There is an inflow and an outflow of cash. Then lastly, we have a balance sheet. Now, a balance sheet is a summary of all assets and liabilities in the business. But before we get into deeper with the balance sheet, I think it's best that you understand what an asset is. This is what the farmer owns. What the farmer owns and has value. Anything that the farmer owns and has value, that is an asset. But now, we also have a liability. We are saying a balance sheet is a summary of all assets and liabilities. What is a liability? Let's just remove that. A liability will be what the farmer owes. Liability. This is what the farmer owes. O W E, what the farmer owes. So that's the main difference between an asset and a liability. Now, when you have a balance sheet in your paper, you can actually use it to calculate what we call the net worth. The net worth is assets minus the liabilities of the business. Now, let's take a question and see how we can actually attempt answering questions on this. So we have a financial statement. We have to name it. What do you see? Assets, liabilities. What does that tell you? This tells you that this is a balance sheet. We have, oh, name the financial statement, and then we have to identify A in the financial statement above. We can see that those assets are grouped, and now we have to name what type of asset is A. We'll do that activity of answering A in our next uh, class which is, and then we have to calculate the value of B in the financial statement above. The value of B will be an addition of 55,000 plus 340,000, 55,000, 340,000 plus, plus, Okay, I'm getting my things mixed up there. Okay, plus, yes, plus 570,000. When you are calculating the value of B, you would have to combine all those numbers. Now, let us add together 55,000 plus 340,000 plus 570,000 to find the value of B or the total liabilities. When you calculate that, you will actually find that this is equal to 965,000. 
if you look at the question, the question is very specific. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.